What up YouTube, it's Misery Hates Company. In this video, we are looking at the fastest way of getting the gold camos in Modern Warfare 2 2022. And let me tell you what, I am very much enjoying this game. And this camo grind is by far the best it's ever been. It's by far more friendly to the casual player. But even if you wanna grind it out as fast as possible, there's definitely a very obvious way of doing so. All right, so the first things first, um, it's very obvious that a lot of people have already done videos on this, but I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail and cover some things that not everyone's talking about. So the first one is, is gonna be, we're just gonna get the easy stuff out of the way and we'll get to the super secret sauce at the end of this video. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end so you don't miss a single beat. Now, first things first, that everyone's already talking about the fastest way to level up your guns, which is the hardest part, arguably, of getting your guns gold is leveling them up. And the easiest way of doing that is playing invasion and killing bots. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands of videos on YouTube already about this. So I'm not gonna cover that in that much detail. Basically, you wanna fight your way to one side of the map, avoid as many real plays as you can and kill bots. That's the fastest way of grinding guns because you actually, you know, grinding levels for your guns because you actually get the same amount of experience as if you kill a real player. So it's very beneficial. And obviously if you wanna take it up a notch, if you wanna do that from a distance or do headshots, all those different types of multipliers give you additional experience for your guns as well as your account. So it's really important that you go ahead and do that. And that's gonna be the fastest game uh, type or game mode. Now I will say there are a bunch of sweats in Invasion right now because everyone is trying to grind camos. So Ground War is actually also a very good option. Now, if you're running into sweats in both of those and you're just like, guys, all these YouTube videos are telling me to play Invasion and obviously everyone's doing it. I've also seen a lot of success in just the regular multiplayer. And if you go to the very top and you go to quick play, you go to filter, you can actually pick which game modes you want. I don't know if everyone knows that, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this video. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So I've been grinding hard point for especially the camos themselves, which will go into the challenges for these camos here in a second. But again, talking about leveling for guns, basically you just wanna get a lot of kills. So if the first two methods don't work, invasion, ground war, then try hard point, or even some of these other ones like headquarters is a pretty good one. Uh, domination has always been known for pretty long games, but lots of kills if you don't go for the OBJ objective. But um, so these are all different alternatives for you than all the other tips and tricks that everyone else is already doing. I'm trying to make it a little bit more unique for you guys. So outside of the game modes, that's when you go to the actual weapon itself. So as you can see, I do have the M4 already gold, which um, isn't ter a terrible grind, like I said. So the main thing with this camo grind is actually the fact that you only have four, four different like challenges, not like the 20, 30 that we're used to. You only have to do four per gun at most. Some guns only have one, like the launchers. You just have to get them to a certain level and you unlock the challenge. So the first one you unlock for the M4 is get 50 kills. Pretty easy. Um, once you progress a little bit further into the level grind of the gun itself, you have to get 50 kills with while ADSing the M4. Again, not challenging. And then uh, once you're like, I guess, three quarters of the way through leveling the M4, which is only max level of 20, which you can literally do in a game with this method. Um, you're gonna get, you gotta get 10 double kills. Now, this is actually pretty easy as well, believe it or not. The one that's like the most annoying, I won't say it's challenging, but it's definitely the most annoying, is getting 15 kills from behind with the M4. This took an unimaginable amount of time, but I have a tip for that, which we're gonna cover in the actual loadout for your gun that we'll showcase here in just a second. And then obviously, last but not least, is the gold camo, which you don't just get once you beat the first four challenges. You actually get the ability of unlocking the gold camo, which is a challenge in itself, which is actually pretty cool, which is get three kills without dying 10 times, which if you've played any other Call of Duty, even mobile, this is consistent across other Call of Duties where you set to get two kills without dying, three kills without dying, and that was part of the normal completionist set anyway, and you only have to do it 10 times, so it's actually really not that bad of a grind. And I'll talk about the uh, best game mode for that, which I already covered, which is basically just gonna be King of the Hill or um, any of those like OBJ objectives and you just get three kills, don't go for the objectives and then get three kills in multiplayer and then you know go on to the next gun and do that in invasion to level them up and then switch back to multiplayer once you need to do these camos. Obviously, like I said previously, the hardest thing with any of these guns is just going to be leveling them up. Um, I do have mine level 20, as you can see the top left there. So you do want to make sure that you are using your weapon XP as cautiously as possible. You don't want to pop one of these things, especially the hour ones, get your gun to max and then start doing the challenges. Instead, set a little timer on your phone or whatever is around you, grind as much as you can, as fast as you can um, in all guns in that time period. And then once the time expires, then go back into multiplayer. Once you're done with invasion, leveling up your guns, go to multiplayer, 
um, like the 6v6s when I mean multiplayer, the 6v6 maps and do the OBJs and then just do the challenges that way. That's so much easier and that's going to way it's going to actually min max your um, weapon experience. So make sure you do that. Don't waste your weapon experience because they're so, 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 so juicy and you don't want to waste that awesome experience. Um, moving on to the actual build itself. Um, this is not a build I would recommend. This is one I just threw on for the thumbnail. <laughs> but uh, if you are playing, um, to, if you're trying to level up your gun, you, especially in Invasion or Ground War, you definitely want to go for um, a build that is uh, more friendly to long range. So I would pop something on like the high tower barrel, and then I would do the pineapple grip, um, 60 round mag, because especially for those double kills, if you're trying to do the, that kind of camo grind as well, um, is very beneficial. But for the optic, instead of like, if you're doing multiplayer, I do this like the mini uh, red dot site. But if I'm doing um, any of the other ones, I definitely pop this bad boy on there because it is better for long range. And then you can do any of those. But really the biggest thing to remember here is build for range. And then you also, I would actually probably not do this. I wouldn't put a stock on there. Keep the mag size, but put a silencer on it because the silencer is definitely gonna help um, silence those bullets to help it be a little bit easier to um, not get caught by the real players so you can keep farming those bots. Moving on to the other most important part of this is definitely gonna be your, your build. So I run Flashbang and then I, I was just playing multiplayer so I did the uh, Molotov, but I would even go as far as like a drill charge. That's a very good way of like flushing people out of a building if you're concerned that you're getting ready to get pushed in invasion. So I'd pop that bad boy on there. For the perk package, um, this like I said was the one that I was playing around with, but you're actually gonna wanna use this Phantom one, especially in the early game because it gives you Battle Harden, which is uh, Reduce the effectiveness of flash stuns and all that so you don't die as easy. Double time so you do run faster and increases your tax sprint. Cold blooded so you're undetected by AI targeting systems. But then also ghost which is easily the most important one here. Which is actually covered up by my screen now that I say that. The last one is definitely the ultimate perk is ghost. Because in invasion and ground war people are going to be popping UAVs all over the place. So you're going to want to make sure that you have ghost on as much as possible because you don't want to die in this. Now, if you are already max level, I would recommend a, uh, well, if you're not max level, I'd recommend the munitions box because you're gonna be frying through some serious munitions on these bots. But if you're farther in, I would actually recommend the tactical insurgent because that way when you do get close to where the bots are, you can drop this tactical insurgent. So should you die to a real player or anyone else or even the bots, I guess, you will respond right away and you can really min-max your time in, in, in each individual game, which will also then min-max your weapon XP. So if you're farther in the game, you have to be level 43. I'm currently not there, so I'm running the munitions box, like I said. But again, this is a really fantastic option once you get this far in the leveling experience for your actual account. So that is going to do it. So that is uh, that is the really juicy trick there is the tactical insertion that not a lot of people are talking about. Everyone knows you have to do invasion, but then I would recommend min-maxing, like I said, your weapon XP so you're not just burning through it trying to do the camo grind. But go ahead and jump over out of invasion and do multiplayer when you're doing the uh, weapon itself camo challenge. I will say last tip is I save the best for last. Um, do not fall prey to this. It is incredibly misleading. This uh, gold camo grind where it says get three kills without dying 10 times while you've been farming bots the whole time. In my experience, the bots do not count for this. So you cannot kill three bots, die and then come back thinking you can do it again. This has to be real players. I did test this three different times and I got, I got like five, 10 kills on the bots, then died didn't get one of the 10 for these. So you do have to do it with at least real players. So with that being said, I would, like I said, switch from invasion to the 6v6 normal modes, whatever one you prefer. I showed you which ones I prefer, but that is really like the one tip that I would give you guys. Don't burn your XP. Don't waste your time in invasion for this specific challenge. Go ahead and jump over to the regular multiplayer 6v6. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing because I'm actually covering all MW2 on this account moving forward, and I am very much looking forward to it. We have some really cool things in store for you. I have a bunch of video ideas that will be coming in the upcoming days. Fastest ways to level up your account, as well as a pretty neat trick to change the color of your name. So if you want to see all that and much more, smash that subscribe button. Until, until next time, guys, lock it in.